my name is Nikki Heron, and today I'm going to be telling you the story of Audrey by Paul Desmond. First, I will introduce myself other than my name. I'm a singer, songwriter, and saxophonist myself. I am a lover of all things music and vintage and all of that jazz. Without further ado, here is the story behind the song Audrey. This song has a sweet yet sort of sad story. Audrey, if you don't know, is a jazz instrumental piece that was written by Paul Desmond. And the inspiration behind the song was, yes, the one and only Audrey Hepburn. It's really, really a beautiful song, and I, I love to play it. The story is even cooler, and the story behind the inspiration and what came afterwards. So this song actually was on the 1959 album Time Out, which went on to be one of the best-selling jazz albums of all time. So this song is fairly well-known, but, you know, not as famous as, like, Take 5, which is super famous jazz standard that was on that album. In 1954, the Dave Brubeck Quartet was playing at the Basin Street East. The alto saxophonist Paul Desmond would call for an intermission at the same time. I say that, you know, he would call for an inter intermission, but really take a timeout. That's a that's a jazz pun. But anyway, eventually they figured out that he was actually walking through Times Square to get to the 46th Street Theater because Audrey Hepburn at the time was playing in a play called Ondine, and I guess he would just stand in the alleyway and watch her leave and go to her limo. Apparently, he knew what time she was leaving, and I mean, I guess that's kind of creepy. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I mean, he's, he didn't say anything, and I don't know if she actually knew that he was there. From Paul Desmond's biography by Doug Ramsey, Dave Brubeck said, quote, Paul would look at his watch the whole time we were playing at Basin Street. He knew when she would walk out the stage door and get into her limo. And he wanted to be standing there. So when I see him watching the time, I knew I better take a quick intermission. And again, I'm going to say a quick time out. He really missed the mark there for a pun. Anyway, he'd put his horn down and out the door he'd go. And he'd run down just to stand and watch her leave. And I asked him, this is what Doug Ramsey said back. Dave Brubeck asked Paul Desmond, like, what did, what do you say to her? Like, did you, do you say anything to her? And he was like, he looked surprised and was like, nothing are you kidding so obviously he was intimidated but like i don't know it's just weird that same year paul desmond wrote the song audrey which of course as i said was part of the brubeck time album but it actually became one of one of his most cherished works and he really loved it this is where the story gets kind of sad but actually kind of cool in 1977 paul desmond actually passed away of lung cancer to this day he still had not met audrey hepburn he never met her um, which is kind of crazy when you think about it because he was there every day and you'd think at some point she would have been like, can I help you, sir? <laughs> With the song, like, he never heard anything from her. It was kind of like, you know, I guess he never really expected it to, but a publicist and author sent Audrey Hepburn a um, copy of the album Brubeck Time in 1992. And apparently she wrote back and wrote him a letter and said, Dear Peter, thank you so much for the lovely gift. I am thrilled to have the Brubeck CD with my song, The Ultimate Compliment. Your letter is so lovely and I'm most grateful for your kindness. So this is really interesting because like she calls it her song. Nobody really knows that she knows about this and the people that, you know, performed and played the song because you know, never knew. So following Audrey Hepburn's death in 1993, her husband, Andrea Doty, actually called up Dave Brubeck and asked if they would play Audrey at her memorial service held by the UN. And this was a memorial service that was honoring Audrey Hepburn's work with children. But Dave Brubeck was, was honestly super shook because he was like, I had no idea, like, you know about that song? Like, you know, because it was kind of like, what you would think would be a drop in the bucket, but it, it wasn't. I mean, like, I, you would think she would eventually figure it out, but, you know, like, back when they didn't have social media and stuff, and, I don't know, the way things were, it probably just, you know. What Andrea Doty apparently said back was, like, no, like, she loved that song. She played it every single night before she went to bed, and when she, you know, didn't have it playing there, she would be walking around the garden and with her headphones on, and she would be listening to the song. And... That, to me, is really interesting because, like, Dave Brubeck didn't know, but Paul Desmond never knew. It was, like, her favorite song ever. And I think it, it also is testament to who she was because, you know, she called it, like, her song in this letter, but, you know, she, she never talked about it publicly, which is really interesting. But this is all a true story. Yeah, years later, it made a really big impact. And to this day, uh, Paul never knew. 
And that's what uh, Lola Brubeck said, Dave Brubeck's wife. Uh, she's like, Paul never knew, and he was so in love with Audrey. And yeah, that is the story of Audrey, one of my favorites, by the Dave Brubeck Quartet and written by my favorite saxophone player, Paul Desmond. Thanks, and keep liking, commenting, and doing all that jazz. If you guys want to hear a specific story or you have one to share, I would love to. I would love to hear it or I would love to share. So yeah, have a great day, everybody, and happy listening.